So here we are standing in a section that's dedicated to a very special uh, activity of the group, which is the connection between their artwork, their visual art, and their written word, their literature. As we had said, the group had two publishing houses, Edition Mas and La Pache du Sable. They were very, very prolific writers as well. And most of the time, some of the writers were looking at the paintings and in getting inspired to write short stories or poetry. And at other times, it was happening the other way around. The, write, the, the painters would look at some of the literature and get inspired to create beautiful images um, that are kind of reflecting or illustrating some of the themes that are coming up in the works of literature. So this dialogue between the two is fascinating. And for instance, we're looking here at two works by Fuad Kamil that are illustrating a character from one of the novellas of the members of the group, his name is Albert Kossary. He wrote this book about the poor, Les Hommes Oubliés de Dieu, Men God Forgot, and he talks about a woman who's in love with a, uh, with a drug addict, hashish smoker, and she sits at night by her candle waiting for him to come. There's the marijuana plant. So it's all kind of interesting and connected, and this is something fascinating about the group that we wanted to highlight in the special section that looks at this relationship between art and literature. One of the central design features of the exhibition, or the curatorial setup, if you will, is actually the close integration of documents and uh, publications at large. So we have over 100 artworks, but we have 200 documents coming into the exhibition as well. And this is testament really to an engagement of the group that goes far beyond the visual arts, actually. And it's perhaps fair to say that in as much as there were painters, um, visual artists and photographers, they were very much writers and political activists. So the group was in fact um, combining various different art forms, whether it's visual arts um, such as painting and photography, but also the literature and also activist political writing. So all these things come together and as such we felt it was very important to bring a lot of these documents to also highlight a little bit the time of Cairo and what this group was doing and the writing and newspapers and the art criticism and all bring it up into one cohesive um, presentation. So it's fascinating when you think about the breadth of that literary network that the group had, even to the extent that in 1946, when they published this kind of uh, journal of surrealist writings, they invited Arthur Lundqvist to contribute to this journal, and he actually published one or two of his poems in that um, magazine, in that journal, which is on display in the exhibition. So there's even a connection with Sweden.